Hello, welcome back to my channel. That's probably the first and last time you will ever hear me say that because I hate doing that. But anyway, it's been a while. What is up, guys? Today, I just want to chat. I just want to chat with you guys and kind of talk to you about my bald head. So I shaved my head a couple months ago now, I want to say. So I kind of want to go through pros and cons and things that I've kind of discovered while having no hair. So let's go with the pros first. Number one, I never have to style my hair. I literally just wake up and go. I can wash my hair in two seconds. My showers take way less time now. The big chunk of time that I spent in the shower was getting the fucking knots out of my long ass hair and conditioning it and deep conditioning it. And yeah, so I don't have to do anything with my hair. I'm in this awkward grow out phase right now. So I do have to kind of put gel down because my hair tends to like cowlick right here. So I do have to smooth it down a bit but it takes me no time at all. And I don't really have bad hair days because of that. There's no hair to have a bad hair day with. Another pro is when I get dressed up, I feel like all my outfits look way more badass and like sexy with the short ass hair. So like if I do a cute fit and like some heels and shit, I feel way more girly. I feel way cuter and just like a boss bitch and like, men are terrified of me and I love that truly that is also another pro that may not be a pro for some of you guys but men are intimidated by me I feel like they have always been intimidated by me but now it's extra because they're like whoa this bitch she doesn't give a fuck she'll shave her head like she's badass and I feel that and I love that so dressing up is better, putting on makeup is better like I love it it looks fucking cute like I'm serving up looks also this two-toned dye I'm loving because I'm serving up two different looks. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi, how are you? Like, what? Like, who is she? I'm loving it. I don't have hair in my face, so like on a windy day, I can wear lip gloss and it's fine. Like, I don't have anything sticking to my lips when I wear lip gloss, which is fucking dope. I don't have hair in my face. If I'm at the gym, which, okay, let's be real, I'm never at the gym. If I did want to ever go to the gym or work out or go run up some stairs, I don't have any hair to worry about. Like, it's not going to get in my way to do anything. If I'm, you know, doing some other recreational activities that may involve my hair being in the way, it's not. So, yeah. I've also became a lot more confident with this hair because I'm not hiding behind that long scraggly hair. It's not my security blanket anymore so I don't really have that to hide behind. People I feel like can see me more with this hair. Um, I'm not hiding behind anything. So it's definitely boosted my confidence and helped me weed out the shitty superficial people when it comes to dating. I feel like when it comes to dating men, a lot of them are looking for the cookie cutter, like girl with long hair sort of vibe, and I'm not giving that out. So I'm weeding out all the fake ass dudes. Not that I'm having any luck dating. So if anybody has a crush on me now, is the time to let me know. When I wear makeup, it's really noticeable and like you can kind of see every thing that I've done on my face. Nothing is like hidden. I feel like sometimes hair can kind of take away you know the focus of something so people also really just focus on my face now so another pro is I don't have like hair everywhere you know when you have long hair and you shed everywhere and it's annoying and it just it's annoying I don't have that my hair doesn't really shed if it does it's tiny little pieces of hair and it's barely any because also I'm washing my hair basically every day now because it's just the hair that's on my scalp and so it just comes off in the shower and I don't have to worry about any hair fallout. So there's two cons. One, I am a very naturally cold-blooded person. I kept a lot of heat in my body from like the heat in my neck and my hair being down and keeping me warm that way. I don't have that anymore. I find I'm cold a lot more now, especially when I'm at work. Uh, it is June and when I sit in my office at work, I sometimes have the heater on 
people think I'm crazy, but like whatever. I mean, I was already kind of like that with my long hair, but now all of the heat just escapes from my neck and I don't have that extra warmth. So in the winter time, it's gonna be pretty bad, I'm assuming. So maybe I'll have to start wearing scarves. I'll be a scarf person, which I've never really done before. I feel like I might look like a shrunken head with a scarf and no hair, but whatever. That's the big con. But again, I'm getting used to that as well. And it might just be because the weather's getting warmer, but I don't know. I'm also now just used to having no hair there. And it's the funniest thing. I'm still every once in a while going like this, like going to flip my hair. Not as often as I was in the beginning, but it is still happening. And it's hilarious to me. Like sometimes people will say something or compliment me and I'll be like, thanks. And like, then I'm like, you're such an idiot. You have no hair on your head to be doing that. But I did it for my, literally my entire life. So I guess old habits die hard. And the second con, no big deal. It's just a preference. There's no hair on my head to pull. And that's all I'm going to say. No big deal. I feel like there's probably a lot more pros. Basically, what I want to say to anyone out there who wants to do it and has been iffy on it, I say just do it. First of all, it's just hair. Like, it's going to grow back. Second of all, it's really, really freeing to let go of that security because hair is a really big security blanket for a lot of women I find and society kind of tells women that they're only pretty if they have long beautiful hair but that's not the case how you feel on the inside is more important than how you look on the outside and honestly I think you only live once so if it's something that is on your bucket list and you've always wanted to do just fucking do it. Like, you're gonna love it. Honestly, every single person that I have seen shave their head, every single person that I've spoken to has never regretted it. Like, I don't regret shaving my head at all. I buzzed it once again since I first did it and I love it. Honestly, just do it for yourself and prove to yourself that you can and you can do anything that you want. And just because society tells you that long hair is what is the norm and is pretty, that's not the fucking reality. The reality is, is that you're a beautiful fucking person no matter what your hair looks like. And if you wanna do something, you have to do it for yourself. So I hope this inspires someone out there who's been thinking of it. If you click on this video and you see me, this is your sign, okay? It is destiny as they would say. Yes, I'm using my name in a pun. Apparently as I'm getting older, I do that now. If you guys have any questions for me regarding my buzz cut, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll do like a Q&A or something one of these days. And I also want to say thank you guys for over 200 subscribers now. Um, what? That's kind of wild, okay? Literally, like, within a month and a half, I got 150 new subscribers. What? What is happening? So if you want me to do something crazy and celebratory for that, also comment down below because I... With everything going on right now in the world, my mind is kind of elsewhere, so it's really nice to get back into the swing of things and be making this video for you guys. But creatively, I also may need a little help so we can help each other. So you let me know if I should do some crazy shit. Comment down below, do I buzz my head again? Do I do a crazy color? Like, do I do 200 of something like I did with the water balloons? I don't know. I just wanna say thank you for the support. You guys are dope. Um, and thank you for watching and I love doing this so I'm gonna keep doing it and entertaining you as best as I can so thank you if you like this video let me know if you don't let me know follow me on Instagram at the Destiny Rose and subscribe to my channel okay thanks bye